Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, channel. Today I want to continue with where I stopped in my last video. I talk about the word of God being the principle, which means the word of God is a book of law. It is an, an instructional book. It is a law that we need to follow, we need to practice every day by day. In our life, it's supposed to be our daily life. We have to work it out. We have to practice it. The book of Joshua said, let this book of law not depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be able to do everything that is written in it. And then you will be prosperous and successful. When you abide by a law it brings freedom when you know the law of a nation and you abide by that law it brings freedom it protects you from trouble you know there is a common say that say ignorant of the law is not an excuse when you don't know the law you will get yourself in trouble without even knowing it or some, they are deliberately ignore the law and they get themselves in trouble. There are laws that govern a nation that you need to abide. Wherever you are, there are laws that govern that place that you are living. When you do understand that law, you will enjoy the place. You will be free. Your right, you will be able to protect your right. The same thing goes with the Bible. The Bible is the principle that governed the universe. God created the universe and everything that is in it, the life that we are enjoying is created by God and there is a law that governs those things that God has created and given to us. We need to know how to follow that law and protect it. If not, you will get yourself in trouble. There are two ways we live our life today. Two choices of ways that we live our life. You can either live by the principle, which is the law of God, or you live by your own principle, the law of man. Your own mindset, your thought process. And however you live, whatever choices you make, there is always an outcome. But when you live outside the principle, the instruction of God, which is the word of God, like I told you, the word of God is an instruction. It is a law that you need to follow. You need to practice. Not only follow, but you practice it. By following it, me, you are doing it. You practice it. It is a, a, a practical thing that you need to do. It's not just saying if you choose not to, there is consequence. Not because of God, because His word is law. When you break any law, you face the consequence that follow the law that you break. Them. For example, in the beginning, the Bible said God created man, Adam and Eve. The purpose of God created man is to rule and dominate this earth. And the Bible said that God put man in a place called the Garden of Eden. And God gave an instruction, law. God laid down the principle of life to Adam and Eve. How they should live, what they should do, and what they should not do. What happened? Adam and Eve chose their own way. They did not follow the law. They did not obey the law. They chose their own way. And you know what happened if you read the Bible. But the Bible says, God said, you are free to eat from all the tree in the garden except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil the very moment you eat from it you will surely die when you break the law you will die you will dead mean you suffer the consequence of that law you're breaking and the law that god say you will die 
and what happened and that's exactly what happened Adam and Eve died it led to everything that we're going through today the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5 if you read it it said therefore just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin and in this way death came to all men because all have sinned did you hear that sin means disobedient of the word of god is sin when you disobey the word of god it means sin and there is consequence the consequence is death so i'm calling on you today please if you call yourself a christian you need to abide by this law let me say it let me say it. i don't know where i don't know if i said it before ignorant of the law is not an excuse whether we like it or not there is a law that governs everything that is in existence when you wake up in the morning there is a law that governs that day you need to know that law and that law is the word of god you need to follow the word of God. Everything that this book put together is an instruction that you need to that you need to follow. If you want to live a life of freedom, a life of peace, a life of joy, you need to know the law and practicalize the law. You need to follow it. And when you know law, law gives you freedom because you know how to manage your life you know what to do and what not to do you know how to protect yourself from the enemy many christians are dying today many people are suffering today many christians are live under the the control of the enemy because they don't know this law this is not about going to church it's about living a life that you're supposed to live i will talk more about that subscribe to this channel Please, I beg you, don't be ignorant of the law. The book, this book, is a, is, is, is a book of law that we need to practice. Faith is law. Faith is an action. It is a law. It is something you need to do. It's not something you need to quote. I'm going to talk more about that. There are so many. There are so many instructions that we need to live our life. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what you are facing today, but one thing that I know, the solution to whatever you are going through is here. Follow me and we're going to be going through one after the other so that you know how to protect yourself, how to guide yourself, things to do and things not to do. I hope this message touched you. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Please. You can't be a Christian and live in depression. You can't be a Christian and live in sadness and and in in fear, in 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 sorrow, in in rage and anger. You cannot. The reason is because you don't know the law. The law, law gives freedom. The Bible says it is for freedom that Christ has made us free. When you know this law, you will be free because you are free. I pray that God touch you today. I pray that this word touch you so that you can be able to take your right back. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Subscribe to this channel, share it, and let's join together to stand on this law. God bless you. Bye-bye.